Hello, good day, and welcome to the second video on PD testing in field. In this video, we will show you how we do the calibration. On the screen, you can see right now the previous setup which we have shown. There is a calibrator in the bottom of the screen. We have one sensor, capacitive divider, high voltage source, and the device under test. So let's take a little closer look. Now, this setup, we can see also here cables coming out of the first sensor which go directly to the acquisition unit. The source is connected to the first sensor with this thick black cable and from the sensor we have this thin but very well insulated cable going to a corona shield. Here you can see how we are generating between the corona shield and the ground. So between the red and the black clamps we are generating PD impulses in order to calibrate uh, our system. This is the second sensor, HFCT, installed around the grounding wire of a cable under test and having two sensors gives us a better understanding of the result. And now we will move to the acquisition unit. By the way, uh, oh, I'm sorry, before that we see here the calibrator itself. It is generating 500 picocoulombs. With the left button we can increase that, with the right button all up to 800 pico, and with the right button we can go down to 10 picocoulombs. And this is the acquisition unit. Just to say, we do the calibration when we want to express our result in picocoulombs. In the field, we suggest better to express the results in millivolts, but of course we can do both. Here one more thing you can see is a high frequency um, uh, or low pass filter because we realize there is a lot of high frequency noise and we want to cut it using this hardware filter. Of course we can do this with our TF map but doing it with software allows us more um, more space to play with the TF map which you will see in a second. So in the next iteration, in the next part of the video what we see here is the calibration process itself. So after we start generating 500 picocoulomb on the cable under test uh, we are now acquiring millivolts on our acquisition unit and we need to correlate these millivolts with picocoulombs and this is being done through this software automatically. We need to say how much are we generating, 500 picocoulombs, and how many points, 500, 1000, 2000 or more points we want to acquire in order to do this correlation correctly. So this is what this part of the software does. And then this is taken into consideration and further on we can see the results in picocoulombs. Here we see the power of the TF map. What I want to show you here is first uh, we see here the PRPD, phase results PD pattern or presentation of PD in time. This are the impulses of the calibrator and these are the impulses from coming out as disturbances. When we move from time domain to frequency domain we can see the two clusters, cluster number one and cluster number two. Cluster number two is the calibration impulse and we know that because we can filter these, this map, uh, this uh, representation by choosing what we want to show. So if we circle this we will get only the straight line and if we circle this we will get only the noises. So this is the power of the TF map, a proprietary technology used by Techim for many many years now. <clears throat> and in our next and last part of the video we will be able to see the cal or original calibration impulse which is this one here and then since the cable is open on the other side this symbol, this, this signal is uh, reflecting from the end of the cable and coming back and we see it again here and here and here. So by using basically this we can actually localize the fault. In this case there is no fault, we just see the end of the cable but we can measure for example the length of the cable or correctly establish the speed of the impulse in the cable. And more or less this is what I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you for your attention and see you soon in our next video. Have a nice remainder of the day. Bye!